Hello, my name is Jensen Blake, and today I am playing Stalker. To be precise, Stalker Call of Pripyat, which is the last of the three Stalker games, and arguably the most complete. The Stalker series is a bit strange. They clearly knew what game they were trying to make, but it was such a lofty, incredibly ambitious goal, it's a bit debatable whether or not they ever got there. Regardless, this is one of the greatest series of games probably ever made, in my modest opinion. And today, I'm going to attempt a challenge. Let's take a look. So this is the starting area. We are in a boat in the middle of a swamp, and this is a hideout where all the stalkers meet and play music and discuss things and bark their repeated dialogues or sit shiftily in the corner handing out quests. But that's not why we're here today. Today we are here to go on a journey. Now, to understand this journey, you need to understand a little about the context of Stalker. Stalker is set around Chernobyl after the nuclear disaster, with the premise being that the radiation that spewed out from Chernobyl mutated the entire area, creating all sorts of bizarre anomalies and all sorts of strange, freaky, freaky monsters. It's actually based on an old Russian book called Roadside Picnic uh, and a film of the same title, which I also highly recommend, but in this case blaming radiation rather than aliens. So let's look at our journey. Today we are going to attempt a sightseeing tour of the abandoned city of Pripyat, made famous by that sniper level in Call of Duty. You know, the only good level on that game. So we are going to walk through the swamps of Zaton, probably. We are going to try and make our way past all of the plot mission critical areas which it will desperately try and distract me with, and we will make it to the city of Pripyat, and we'll have a look around and try and find the big wheel and all the other bits that people actually recognise. But, and it's a big but, I'm going to attempt to do this without dying once. This will be a hardcore run, so if a blind dog leaps out of the undergrowth and savages me and I die, that's it, end of video. And if I get sniped, end of video. And if I fall down a big hole, end of video. Now in a normal shooter that would be bad enough, but in Stalker, the whole world is filled with anomalies. These are strange areas of twisted reality. Either flaming balls that hurl up from the sky, or gravitational anomalies that rip you to shreds and scatter your organs over a wide area. It's all very, very interesting and very, very difficult. So, it's night time. It is 2.49am. I can't think of a better time. <laughs> Let's get started. Oh! And just walking out the door, I've been grabbed by Snag. Hello, Snag. Stalker, you want to get paid? Sorry about the accents. Stalker, uh, what's the job? You see, I hit some old loot in this old z z z car. Z z z car. But then an earthquake hit and the car fell underground. That <laughs> sounds like a... Snorks! Oh, bugger Snorks. Right, I hope we don't see Snorks. They are exactly as, exa um, as horrible, in fact, as they sound. Do you remember that Doctor Who episode with the children with the gas masks? Imagine adult versions of them. That's basically what Snorks are. They are horrible. Kind of crossed with Gollum as well, just for good measure. Um, yes, so anyway, I was going. Let's go. Out. Just having a look at my map to try and work out what the best route is. I think the only route, at least that I can see, is to go over the Priobrazensky Bridge. Mm. Now it's of course entirely possible, it's a long time since I played this game, that what I am attempting may not be possible. Um, <laughs> I might need to do some sort of plot critical stuff in order to unlock the route through to Pripyat. And that's exactly the type of thing this game might try and do, just to wind me up. If that proves the case, then, well, bugger it, I guess I'll have to die trying to do plot critical stuff. So, I've set a waypoint in roughly the right place. Now we head off into the darkness. And it is dark. This is a dark game, Stalker. If we add light, well, obviously that helps significantly. However, and it's a big however. Oh, I can now take my weapon out. Oh, thank you. People get very antsy if you point your gun at them on this game. Can't say I blame them, for fairly obvious reasons. This is a very, very harsh, cruel, horrible world. 
So, let's go very carefully. Ooh, let's eat some bread as well, because apparently I'm hungry. Eat the bread. There we go. Let's go very slowly and keep our eyes open for anomalies. Because it's a hard word to say, and I want to avoid them as much as possible, so that I don't say anomaly more than I have to. That's a very big crane. Or possibly a stork. I don't know, I'm not an expert on these things. I always feel like I should be crouching on these games. That's a feeling emphasised by, if you look in the top uh, left hand side of the screen, I have a noise meter. And when I walk through bushes, it tells me that I'm being very noisy by walking through a bush. I've also got a sight meter, which is very useful for telling me if I've done anything stupid, like walking in front of a dog. Now, is that something moving down there? Just behind that crate? It could be an anomaly. Let's go have a look. Nope, nothing there, but there's some very, very creepy noises, so we're going to have to be careful. I really don't want to have to fight any more than I absolutely have to, because everything in this game, and I mean everything, can jump out and kill you. It's terrifying. Let's leave the light on. You never know, it might scare something away. To you too, my friend. Bow wow, brown cow, bow wow. Here's what I'm looking for. My anomaly detector. Now I can only have that out with a one-handed weapon. Ooh, I have a shotgun. I didn't even know that. So if I have my detector out like this, then in theory, at least, any anomalies should make an alarming beeping noise. Give me some sort of advanced warning that I'm about to get exploded. I'm almost tempted to go in there, but I just don't think it's worth the risk. Now there. There. I don't know if you'll be able to see that on the video. That swirly, swirly horror is a gravitational anomaly, and that means we are not going to be able to go across the bridge. Let's just creep forwards until my detector picks it up. Oh, I've just remembered, this detector doesn't do what I think it does. So, this detector won't detect anomalies. What it's looking for is the artifacts that spawn near anomalies. Bugger. Right. God, I nearly came a cropper then. <laughs> Here we go. This is what I was looking for before. The humble screw. Allow me to demonstrate. The purpose of this screw is to throw... you can get an idea of where the bad things are. Oh, bloody hell. So you can see it bouncing between them. Ah, but along there is clear. Okay, I'm going to try and work my way across the bridge. Now I don't know if there actually is a safe route. There might be. There may be. It looks like I can creep my way. I thought I heard something else. Is the one just there? I'm very close to them here. So, this is incredibly, insanely dangerous. This looks blocked off. I don't know whether it is. I can't risk that. I can't risk that. That is just too dangerous. Right. We're going to have to go with unpleasant plan B. Unpleasant plan B is that we're going to have to swim. Yuck. Let's take this nice and slowly. But not too slowly because the water is very liable to be radioactive. Because everything is bloody radioactive. I mean, we're near Chernobyl. That's fair enough, really. It's like a wall of 
Yuck. Yeah, there's no way we could have made it across there. Look at that. That just... Let's have a closer look at that. Yeah, that, that literally goes up and down the height of the bridge. That's not happening. Nothing is getting through there. Even the birds are avoiding that. So, we are on the other side of the bridge. And we haven't been eaten by anything yet. I say yet, it's probably a matter of time. Ooh, fence. That looks very much like a loading screen. <laughs> Not to break the immersion or anything. Ooh. Ooh. You see, this game's old enough that it lags slightly when things load. and <laughs> You end up with a slightly false warning when something's going to happen. But maybe... Maybe we've done it. Maybe we're going to get through to Pripyat. Can I go around here? No. Oh, is there no way for me to get through here? Damn, am I going to have to go into those buildings? Ah, that is not what I wanted. There are people here. So this is a mercenary camp. And as they're mercenaries, and I have no money or anything to offer them, I very much doubt that they're going to be on cheerful speaking terms with me. Uh, this is compounded by the fact that they're mysteriously being highlighted red by my binoculars, which are clearly intelligent enough to spot enemies when they see it. Huh. Right. I think a degree of finesse is going to be called for this time. I'm going to try and creep around the back of these buildings in the vain hopes that it will all go to plan. There's no way around the back of the buildings. Oh, ladder, can I? No, no chance. Ah, damn. So we either risk a confrontation, we're going to have to risk a confrontation. If I go in with my gun down, this game is bright enough sometimes that they will just shout at you rather than opening fire immediately. Can we test it with... Hello? Oh, bloody hell, there's an anomaly there. Turn back, stalker. This place ain't for you. Right. Stalker, off with you. Yeah, that's... But you still got legs. Yeah, okay, 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 that's pretty clear. Okay, so they did not give us a welcoming reception there, but I've been looking at the map and I think I might be able to sneak across the front of this base, down the other side, and then maybe south there? Or maybe that fence there will prove an obstacle again? I honestly don't know, but I'm very interested to find out. Hmm. Cement factory. Maybe. Maybe I'm going to have to go down there. One thing's for sure, this journey isn't as simple as I was hoping. So the guy in those buildings, Bobby McRussian, was calling a stalker. Now that's not because he knows our name, or because he knows it's the title of the video game. Basically, a stalker is like a like a ranger of the north in a Lord of the Rings sense. Good god, those power cables are terrifying. I'm suddenly very afraid. Uh, yes, so like a rangers, they uh, go into these hazardous areas and attempt to retrieve artefacts which obviously have a massive value on the black market because they're unstudied, strange scientific relics. I don't trust this bit. Excuse me. What happens when I do that? Nothing. I don't trust those power lines at all. Whenever I play this game, I always feel like I'm leaving a breadcrumb trail. I'm literally just throwing screw after screw after screw from my infinite bag of screws. All day, every day. Anyone bright enough to follow me could easily do so. Ooh. That helicopter up there looks like plot. We want to avoid that. There. There are some enemies. Now they are sort of mutated wild boars. Kind of. Now, they probably aren't strong enough to kill me. But they are definitely strong enough to be a threat, so we're just going to have to keep a careful eye on those. And also for any others. They tend to hunt in packs, so there could be more in those bushes. There we go, another one just came out from behind the rock. More that we just haven't seen. 
So let's keep our eyes and ears peeled. It's as I feared. This fence is an insurmountable obstacle, which means we're going to have to make our way all the way past this dangerous plot-filled area. <laughs> past the compound of plot, <laughs> and then along that road to the south. Through Jupiter, <laughs> and then only then to Pripyat. Oh god, this is going to be a long walk. <laughs> right, don't look at me. Don't look at me. I've got a shotgun. Oh my god, they've seen me. Right, they've seen me. Bollocks. Now, we don't necessarily have problems, but it's certainly not ideal. Die. 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 Fuck off. Fuck off. The silence after combat is far scarier than the silence during. As you wonder what you've attracted. Huh. I think that time we got away with it. It's that ring of fire that Johnny Cash was always on about. Tell you what, let's not go in there. Okay, if that isn't a werewolf inspired moon, I don't know what is. Look at that. That is the most ominous bloody moon I've seen in ages. Like literally days. Go away, I'm not dead yet. Well, yet. More problems ahead. There's a bunch of dogs in the road. Much like the last time, these are just going to be, hopefully, one shotgun kills. But there's a lot of them. And they tend to hunt in packs like so. Bang! Go away! Bang! Go away! Bang! Go away! Ow! 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 Die! Ow! 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 My health in the bottom right is ticking down. I always feel really guilty because they make such sad noises. Man, I feel really guilty killing those dogs. They're blind. They're mutated and blind, but to be honest, they're not very friendly looking. Ugh. And now, just to compound the issues, it started raining. Lovely. Pathetic fallacy at its fucking finest. It's another bloody invisible wall. Ah, this is what I was talking about when I said that the scope of the game exceeded their ability to actually deliver it. It's almost open, but it's also not open. There are these irritatingly, obviously, definitely climbable walls that you can't get up, and it's really irritating. I'm going to have to walk around and try and get through the complex, but what with this storm brewing, I'm not optimistic. If there is a radiation surge, there are sort of radiation storms that come out of the uh, nuclear power plant. If that happens, and I'm caught out here, it will be game over. I will be killed by the horrible radioactive lightning, but it will be very pretty, so there's always that to look forward to. I've made it up to the complex. My feelings at this point could be best described as complex. And if you look at the top left, it is radioactive. Fantastic. So I'm now irradiated. That's that's exactly what I needed. Having said that, it doesn't actually matter if I get a bit irradiated. Because we're not trying to live long term. You know, we're not... Is that a dead body? Is that a dead body in there? That does not bode well. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, oh, Jesus. Horrible feeling. This is going to be a nuclear storm. If it is... Oh my god, that lightning. If it is, then we are fucked. I'm just putting that out there. <laughs> so you don't get any false expectations. Oh no, it's the helicopter! Plot! No! I don't know if these are mines. You see all of these crates that says something something explosive? don't know. I'm really not sure if I want to go across here, but I think I have to. Okay. Let's crawl and hope for the best. Shit, shit, shit. I did not notice. That anomaly is moving. It's just gone behind that there. It's moving around and around this place. Now, I hope it's not bright enough to be attracted to me. 
I'm certainly not going to go anywhere near the helicopter, and I assume that's what it's orbiting. And I assume that's what brought down the helicopter and killed those guards. But, uh... Yeah, ooh, ooh. Is it coming towards me? Don't you bloody dare, my friend. Okay, I panicked, and so I wasn't recording. There was a floating crate that just smashed against the wall, which means there is a poltergeist, or a polterghost, there. You see that? You see that? Basically, there's a flying bastard, and he is going to try and ruin my day. Now, I don't want that. Damn, 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 damn. That's not what I needed. Can I slip out the back of these buildings? Maybe. I don't want to go down. I don't want to go down. Oh, don't make me go down. I just want to go past. Oh, ah. Right. I've thought about it, and I don't see an alternative to going down. The rain has stopped. <sighs> but unfortunately, looking at the map, I think I'm going to have to go underground to get through to that zone down there. Bugger. Uh, which is really bad, but hey. When the going gets tough, the tough go underground and fight poltergeists. Something can see me. Oh. Good. Access card required. Oh, really, game? You are that determined to stop me going to Pripyat. You're right. Okay. Time to consult a wiki. Be right back. Okay, as I stare at this locked door, a little bit of research has proven that my challenge is, in fact, impossible. <sighs> Fantastic. Since the days of doom, you've required a blue key card for a bloody blue door. So... As the game wants me to follow its plot, I'm going to follow its plot. I'm going to go find this poltergeist, because suddenly I've lost the will to live. Hello! Ow! I'll be honest, that is actually pretty fucking cool. But this is the trouble with games. When you lose the will to care, suddenly things don't matter as much anymore. You know? Because, go away. By the way, this poltergeist guy is actually... Is it you? Are you, are you a thing? Are you an anomaly? I don't actually know. What happens if I throw a screw in you? Okay, so you're a moving electrical anomaly, are you? Ow! 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 That one hurt! You actually brought that down on top of me, you bastard. Bloody hell. Alright, let's examine this helicopter. F. Ooh, cutscene time. Who died in midair and the helicopter simply crashed because there was nobody there to fly it. Wow, that's insightful. The onboard computer was a little luckier. I wonder if there's anything useful here. I doubt it. Ah, there's something. Is it a key code? A map of the area with certain locations marked. It's not very useful. That should come in handy. Oh my god, that's close to me. <laughs> Has the poltergeist gone? No, he just... He, he's forgotten where I am because of the cutscene. Like, I know the cutscene was boring, but I didn't expect the monsters to wander away during it. That's hardly reassuring. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to have a quick consult of the map to come up with one last goal. Ow! Right, where are you? Where are you, you bastard? Ow! I'm being beaten up by him. Fuck off! Ow! Right. Well. <laughs> no additional goal required, ladies and gentlemen, as we watch a ghost. Ow! Pound away at my corpse maliciously. This is like the revenge of Slimer, this is. Then I think we will leave Stalker there today. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I could watch this for hours. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, I'm afraid I won't be playing much more Stalker. Um, <laughs> however, if you have any comments or feedback, or indeed if you just like this video, feel free to give us a like or to add a comment in the comments section below. Feel free to subscribe for lots of other videos. I'm currently playing a range of games and starting a couple of series very, very soon. So, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> as we watch my character be buried in a Russian power plant in a radioactive leak by a poltergeist. 
it's time to end this video. Thank you all very, very much for watching. I've been Jensen Blake. You've been, as always, fantastic. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Ha, ha, ha.